Tuesday morning to you all, friendly farmers. Welcome back to Mercury Farm. I am Farmer Man. It is getting late into the evening here on yeah, Mercury Farm. I am just down at the store, had to do a few things. Um, I still haven't picked up my agro moth cedar, but we've had some big developments here on the farm. Um, first things first, we did finish. We wrapped up the uh, tree selling. We got all the logs, wood chip, let me turn my flashlight on here. And um, we are sitting at 132073 bucks. That is not too shabby. So what I'm going to do here before the night falls is I'm going to pay back that 50000 bucks. There. Now we are debt-free again. We got 82000 The construction crew is coming in the morning. We are having some buildings put in. We'll walk up to the yard here and I'll show you. We also made a few minor changes. Uh, my field tank that I hauled all the way on that long road trip um, had a leak in it. Yeah, can you believe it? it? had a leak in it. So we had to get rid of that. So we're going to have another one brought in. Um, let's see. My two fields have been plowed. The one's been limed. The other one has to be limed. We put a little entrance in down to the field here on the back side of the farm. Doesn't that kind of look nice with all the lights and the Holy Buckets farm sign and everything? Oh, it looks awesome. And uh, so this field is... Um, limed and plowed the other field is plowed we have to lime that now i have not bought any land i have not purchased any other land yet i'm still thinking about that and we're going to figure that out in the morning i think um let's walk up to the yard here everything else is done the trees are all the way the um stumps are all grind up and we did make a new purchase we have a fancy new toy you got to check this puppy out this is awesome um i think that guy up the road the horse uh, salesman the horse golf cart guy I think he bought one too. I saw him down at the dealership a little bit. You know, he's kind of a he's kind of a strange fella. Um, but I, I slowly get to know him a little bit more. Um, he thinks that I smell and I look funny, but that's okay. And he calls me Doctor Quinn Medicine Woman for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, boy, is it getting dark in here? I need to get some lights in here. But anyways, the construction crew is going to come bright early in the morning. They're going to start construction here in the yard, and uh, that'd be that'll be nice. It'll look a little bit different here in the morning. And then um, let's see. The toy. Okay, we still have the lime fitter, four-wheeler, the plow. I had to move all this stuff out of the way here. And the Steyr and the John Deere are sitting there. But here's our fancy news toy. Check this puppy out, man. This is the Big Daddy Backyard. Check that out, man. That is That looks like a mean piece of equipment. But this takes care of um, all kinds of stumps. takes care of trees. It takes care of hedgerows. Um, everything. This thing is a beast. That thing is awesome. It's an older model, but I, I found one. I found one used, and then I think that guy up the road there, the uh, the cell tower collector guy. Yeah, I think he got one too. I think he got a yellow one. I they had a yellow one and a green one, and I got the green one. He got the yellow one, so that's kind of cool. But that's what we're gonna play with a little bit, and that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be awesome. That is gonna be awesome. Um, so let's see. That's it. That's about it. Yeah, we're just going to uh, chill out for the rest of the night. I might even drive up to that guy's place and just maybe I should just, we should have a beer together or a bourbon and uh, talk about things and kind of and kind of get to know each other a little bit. But we'll have to see about that. Um, the cabin's good. The yard is good. Um, Money-wise, not too shabby. We are going to have to um, borrow some money for construction costs and then I think I want to do some land. 
I think that's kind of the plan. And then bright and early in the morning, I have some contracts to do for um, for Adrian for his agricultural services where I work. I don't want to lose my job because uh, this uh, this horse jockey guy, he is um, you know he's kind of being buds with Adrian, and I'm afraid that he's going to try to throw me out. Uh, so I got to keep Adrian happy. Um, other than that, then we'll get this one field spreaded over here, and then we'll do some planting and stuff. So, anyways, that's kind of where it sits here on Mercury at the moment. Um, like I said, I'm going to chill for the rest of the night. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. Hope you had a good Monday. We had a snow day Monday. Eight inches of snow and freezing cold winter. But that's okay. That was good. Um, back to the grind here now on Tuesday. But anyways, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for joining us. And I will see you all bright and early in the morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning, people. At 7.15 in the morning, I am down at the store. Uh, Adrian sent me a message this morning. And he said, get down to the store, pick up the new toy. You got a contract to do right away. So I walked down here. I was just looking at the Agromaz Cedar. That thing is just dandy, isn't it? Anyways, we get to pick up the big toy in the back. Whoa, careful. Um, the big John Deere 9RX. What am I stuck on? Baylor, you man, oh man. Hey, Dexter. Good morning, buddy. Good to see you, buddy. Um, we are going to pick up the big boy. The big, the big boy. Yeah. We got rid of the other one. Um, Adrian finally pulled the trigger. He said, ah, that's enough of that. Let's, let's get a fancy new toy. So we got a fancy new toy to play with this morning. Awesome. 9520RX. What a dandy of a tractor. Look at that. Fires up. Like a charm, man. Like a charm. Uh, up at Mercury Farm. Well, we are in Mercury Farm. Up at uh, Old <laughs> uh, Holy Buckets Farm. What the heck am I talking about? Um, the construction is underway, man. They are busy. We had to borrow a bunch of money to pay them. We still owe them some more. But uh, I had to go down to Silverstein Credit Union and get uh, 85000 to get started on that. And then um, I probably will need to get more down the road. But in the meantime, <coughs> excuse me, construction is underway. Um, now, granted, there is some landscaping that uh, we can't figure in that because... Yeah, I mean, if you really want to do landscaping, you would need millions and millions and millions of dollars. But it's all good. We've got some buildings uh, paid for. Uh, we still have some more to pay for. And then on top of that, they're going to put in a horse pack for us. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, some, of the, some of the buildings were relatively cheap. They're using uh, refurbished lumber. So that would be about, uh, I don't know, 8000 bucks a shed, you know. And then uh, put in a little silo for us. That's kind of the spendy one. That's about 55000 and then the horse paddock another fifty five thousand. So we got a bunch of money invested in our farm, but that's okay. I haven't purchased any land yet. And um, oops. Anyways, the reason is the farmers did some harvesting, so there's new crops growing in those fields, and they're all kind of good crops. But I think um, we're gonna look at land here after I get my morning chores done at Adrian's Agricultural Services. Um, we have one field to fertilize right off the bat, and then we'll have to double check and see what we need to do. But um, hence the new tractor, and hence the uh, spreader here. So we'll head over to the shop. We'll get this uh, filled up with uh, urea, uh, dry, dry fertilizer, and we'll get off to the field and we'll start spraying. Look at that. The nuisance cell tower is flashing. I tell you what. Um, you know what I heard though? Holy buckets! I was down at the store this morning. And everybody was talking about the uh, trailer house that the um, the uh, go kart guy that he has um, that he was living in. Apparently, uh, he got rid of it. He I don't know if he stole it for scrap or burned it or whatever. But uh, build a fancy new house. Can you believe that? The guy goes from a trailer house to a fancy new house. So that's that's a good sign. I mean, things are looking up over there. Uh, that, that trailer house was getting to be an eyesore, that is for sure. Um, but anyways, we'll pull into the back side here of Adrian's, and uh, hopefully he doesn't get any more of these stupid nuisance cell towers. But uh, we'll pull into the back side here of Adrian's, and we will um, fill this up right away. I think he's done other construction over there too, I tell you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, maybe he was listening to me. Maybe he uh, heard that, hey... You gotta clean. You gotta clean things up, man. Gotta get things cleaned up. But um, the boys are down here working hard already this morning. Let's see. We'll pull under the fertilizer, and we'll get that taken care of. Fill this thing up. Um, boy, this is a nice looking tractor, isn't it? 
You know, I, I know uh, when these ones were coming out there, everybody was all excited about them. Um, fertilizer. There we go. We'll start filling it. Uh, I don't think we need a whole heck of a lot. Um, let's see. That field is not very big. Where we're going is right over here. We're going over to 53. Let me double check. I think it's 53. Is it 53? 53... Uh, 53. Yep, we're going over to 53, so we shouldn't need that much. I suppose whatever we have left over, we could just probably uh, empty. I don't. I mean, a couple passes, and we'll have that puppy taken care of. Uh, I think that should be good enough. That should be good enough. We'll um, get that cover closed. So heading over to 53, we'll see what the action is over here. I mean, I think I heard there's all kinds of stuff going on. So now I kind of feel bad. I got to get my place up to snuff because now I'm going to look at that fancy house. Look at that. Beautiful. I, well, it is nice. I, I don't want to say the the go-kart guy's house is nice, but I, I mean, it is kind of nice. You got to admit it. Um, Patton Stables. Got a silo there. Look at that. I tell you what. Unbelievable. Well, take a look at my tractor, though. You think, you think your house is nice. Look at my tractor. Um, with dirty windows, though, apparently. The dealership couldn't even clean up the windows before I picked it up. Anyways, we'll head here. I think we'll just head down the uh, the frontage road, and uh, we'll see what's going on down here. Fifty? Did I say fifty-three? So that'd be the middle one here, um, and we'll get that uh, we'll get that spread. Let's see. Is that fifty? Fifty-three? Is this one here? Fifty-three? Is this one here? Okie dokie. Hey, there's that guy. How's he doing? Um, got himself a combine too. Oh, he's doing some combining. Maybe doing some contracting work. That's nice. My tractor's nicer than your combine, though. Turn that on. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Kind of a nice sight, though. Uh, nice combine. Nice combine. I can't afford a combine like that. I think i got to go with the four-strip one. To be honest with you, um, I don't know where he gets all his money from, but uh, apparently he's got big bucks. I don't have big bucks. I got little bucks. Oh, tree! Look out! Anyways, hope you're all having a fantastic. I think I've already said this before. Hope you're already having a fantastic uh, Tuesday. Yeah, nice. Not too shabby, I tell you. Not too shabby at all. Um, cold here again. I tell you what, it's just getting cold. What is that guy doing? Did he back into his tractor with his combine there, or what? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? I don't think he knows what he's doing, to be honest with you. Um, nope, I don't think he knows what he's doing. Right across the road here, let's take a look at that. Right across the road here um, is his fine parcels of land. Um, I think it's pretty spendy, though. Uh, let's just jump the hedge. Um... God, got all these nice trees in here, man. You guys, you could have a scorpion king, and you could just go nuts with those trees. I mean, how much is this parcel? Um, let's see, where am I here? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, see, look at that. That is uh, 469000 for that stretch, and then 524 for that stretch. Um, what I'm looking at, of course, we talked about this the other day, 44, 43, 42, 41. This, and then I'm also thinking about 47. I really am. Um, have this whole section here. Just because I like to have these two, just because they're like right next to the house. There's some woods back here, too. Um, but it depends on how much money I feel comfortable with getting. Um, like I say, it's going to cost me probably another, oh, heavens, another 40,000 for what they're doing up there now. And then, um, yeah. I do have some, believe it or not, I do have some fancy uh, wood chips that I can sell. Uh, that little uh, fancy tool that I showed you last night. Um, I do have uh, storage in there. So I need to get a tipper trailer, and we can unload that. I mean, can you, can, I can't believe how much uh, wood chips <laughs> that little thing holds, but you're going you're gonna to be blown away by it. Um, so if we get a tipper trailer, and then we will be able to... Um, to unload that and go sell the wood chips. So that's that's, that's going to be a little bit of extra income. We did have some income um, for more of the trees. I kind of missed a bunch in the back. Um, so I was up early this morning and got rid of those. So we ended up with a little bit more money than I was expecting. 
but um, that's okay. That is okay. I don't think that guy knows what he's doing. I really don't. I wonder how he ever learned to be a farmer. I have serious, serious questions about that. Um, I don't think he owns that land. He must be trying to compete with uh, Adrian here. I wonder if Adrian knows that. Tell him to go repo that uh, fuel truck. That's for sure. Okay, that should take care of that one there. Um, that one should be satisfied, so Adrian can uh, can complete that. Um, I wonder if I should just go ahead and do some, or if I should call Adrian first and see what's on the books. I probably should do that. Um, maybe I'll go over and say hi to this. Oh, golf cart jockey, that's his name. Hey, look at that. It's nice that he wears this big name tag, name tag over his head. That really helps us out here. I was just calling him the horse jockey, the golf cart salesman guy. But uh, I think that that's a lot better than a golf cart jockey. But yeah, I'll go say hi. I'm going to talk to Adrian, and we'll see what's going next with this fine and outstanding tractor. Um, we still have some fertilizer. How many fertilizer? How much fertilizer do we have in there? Oh yeah, well, crap. We still have 5,600 liters in there. We could do a lot more fertilizing. So um, I'll check with him, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, we got one more fertilizing job to do real quick. Um, field 12. I think this is this odd shape one. I can't remember if this is this one that we've done already. Field 12 over here. Um, we're supposed to do that one real quick. Let's see, right. Right up here, um, I get confused. I, yeah, this one right here, straight ahead, I think. So we can just kind of turn in here and then come in here. Yep, this is the one here. So we will um, do this one real quick. Do we have access? This is 12. Yeah, there we go. This is 12. Um, nice area over here, too, though. Look at that building site right there. I wonder what that used to be, if that used to be um, somebody's old farmstead that. Uh, fell down, tore down, you know, I don't know, uh, good possibilities there, being that we have the horse paddock constructed, or being constructed up there, um, place like that would be nice for some cows, or some bacon, or some sheep, all kinds of good stuff going on, but, um, yeah, no, I'm all for that, but, of course, it all takes money again, it all takes money, um, let's see, what else can I say, Eh, stupid cell tower. I gotta quit looking at that thing, you know. That's what I gotta do. I just gotta quit looking at it. I gotta ignore it. It's just, uh, drives a man crazy. Drives a man crazy! Nice tractor, though. Comfy to drive. That's for sure. Comfy to drive. We gotta get the windows clean. I think they're getting dirtier, crying out loud, man. They are getting just absolutely filthy. Absolutely filthy. Disgusting. There should be the last pass here for field 12. And that contract is done. I tell you what, I'm too efficient. I get two contracts done right away in the morning. That is not too bad at all. And it's only uh, 748. That is not too bad. Um, I think we'll take this back to the uh, shop. Take it back to the shop. We'll... Um, park it in there. I'll go in and I'll run in and see what's going on. Um, not a lot of harvesting jobs in the area because the uh, farmers have just got done with uh, planting and, the, and crops are growing. So we can go with that. But if I can sneak away, we'll head back to the uh, Holy Buckets farm and we'll check on the progress there. I, I hear they're making good progress. It's amazing how fast these people can come in and um, and get stuff done like that. It's, 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 it's astounding the fast... the yeah, go back to the night fast thing. Uh, it's amazing how much work they can get done in such a little period of time. Um, yeah, I, I can't talk. I really, really can't. But anyway, I think we should have to get... Um, we would need to get a fertilizer applicator of some sort. Um, oh, we do have this. I'm thinking a liquid fertilizer applicator um, for our fields if we did purchase any. But let's run over there. I'm going to stop here. Let's run over there. We'll check on the progress. We'll, we'll see how that looks. And then um, I think maybe we should purchase some land. I really do. I think we should uh, just go nuts. Just um, try to make some money doing some arable farming. Uh, if I can back up here, life would be good. Come on. Back up. Back up. There you go. There you go. Straight back now. Straight back. Careful. Easy. Down at the dealership. Um, my money's gone. I have 255 bucks.
bucks. How am I going to buy bacon for 255 bucks? Uh, the builders, they took out more of my money. It's all gone. Um, we'll have to go to the Super Steve Credit Union. Um, I was just inquiring about some equipment. I think I need to get a tipper trailer. Um, the reason is because that wood chipper thing is full, and um, we could take advantage of that and sell the wood chips right off the bat. Did I lose the little buy icon thing? Where did that go? Um, I know that's the... Huh. I was thinking there was a buy icon right here by the desk. Is it outside? Over here. No? Um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm dreaming of... Hey, you parked on the curb there. Uh, we'll just go in here then, I guess. Uh, let's see. Trailers. We don't need anything real fancy right off the top of the bat. Um, let's see what we can find that's affordable. Let's see. What's affordable? That thing is that thing is garbage because that thing just keeps resetting back to its to its original spot. I kind of like these creppies. I really do. I like this one here, but fifty one thousand bucks. I mean, that's just absurd. Um, might have to scrounge for scrounge 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 for some uh, good trailers. Uh, you can just go back to the old Agar liner. We could just do that. Um, Oh, buckets. I don't know. Um, what if I went... What if I went with a truck? Why didn't? Why don't I go with a truck? That'd be a little bit different. Let's do a truck. They have this... Um, <laughs> this zeal thing. Uh, but that's only 6,500 liters. Uh, here's a different one. This one's uh, 11,000. Hey, look at that. 15,000 bucks. Let's go check on that. I think they have one here. No, that's that uh, Chevy. Um, is this it here? No, that's that. That's another one. I thought they had one of those uh, trucks here. I'm going to go and inquire about that, but I think we just get a truck. 15,000 bucks. I mean, that's cheaper than buying a, uh, a stupid trailer for crying out loud. Um, I'm a big fan of the trucks. This is, we got something on the back, maybe? Um, big hopper bottom. I can't afford that. Um, hmm. I tell you what, I think they're selling a lot of the equipment because a lot of the stuff is gone. But um, let's check on that. I think I'm going to try to find a truck. I'm going to try to, yes, I'm going to find a truck. Right, Dexter? Dexter thinks so, too. Nice hammer, by by the way. All right, don't laugh, don't make fun of me, but this is what I got. Yep, look at that. That is just a sexy, sexy, manly truck right there. And then we got a trailer to go behind it. So I'll, I kind of like the setup. Um, I got everything all hooked up. Yep, all the cables are hooked up. The wire. Yep, we're good to go. Um, we're going to head up to the farm, and we're going to check on the progress. And we're going to see what they said, and we're going to unload that wood chipper. And then we can take that in. Um, I'm kind of curious. What, well, I mean, I'm kind of curious how much we can get in here. But I got extensions on this truck. They did that for me real quick. Um, I mean, this it's, 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 it's is dandy. How can you go wrong with that steering wheel wrap and these seat covers? You really can't. All we need is something hanging from the window here just a little bit. But, um, this, this, let's, kind of quiet inside. Eh, I think it looks nice. I tell you what, that, uh, that uh, go-kart guy, he's going to be very, very, very jealous of um, our truck and trailer here now. He thinks his 48 Chevy is pretty snazzy. You check this puppy out. This is a dandy. And it's called, um, I don't speak the language, but a Zeal 130. Uh, I think is kind of the uh, shortcut for that. Um, yeah, dandy. But anyways, there he is. Ooh, look at that. We have got like a little mountainside up there. Look at that. I tell you what, the Holy Buckets Farm is um, is coming right along. Come on. Man, I, I'm... I want to go. I want to go. I got things to do. The Zeal, the Zeal 130 is um, dying here. Come on, red car. There you go. Come on. You can do it. I think Adrian was just calling me. I, I kind of ignored his phone until I get the type hole in the yard here. Um, yeah, look at that. A little bit, a little bit different looking. Ooh, what trailer? What's going on? You okay? I think somebody just tried to hit me. Um, a little bit different in here, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Um, it's nice. It's nice. I hope you do, too. Uh, Holy Buckets Farm is growing. A little bit of a bump coming up in the yard here. Uh, let me try to work on that a little bit more, but it's okay. So here we are. I'll show you what we got. I'll give you a little tour here. 
Um, they put in this fancy little wooden slap shed here. That's This is the refurbished wood here. So that's kind of nice. Got a nice concrete floor in there. Um, can't go wrong with that. We have some, uh, some seed bins here, some fertilizer bins. That is pretty snazzy. I like that. And then over here they put in a, uh, a stone silo system. So we can just kind of come right through here. Look at that. Fancy doors open up like that. Here's our silo bins. Yep. This is like 55000 bucks. This was a big purchase for me. And then we coat the back side here. So we have that coming up the back side. And then we would fill um, right there. A little driveway path. And then the most exciting thing. besides, Well, the silo is pretty exciting. But uh, coming around here, we have got a little horse paddock. Look at that. That is nice, isn't it? Ooh, careful. Little horses in there. We're, we're going to get some horses. we got to get some horses for here. Um, but that comes around here out back. A little garage shed here. This is not too bad. I don't know what I'm going to keep in here. Maybe the yard tractor or something. But we have a little um, little garage shed there. It's kind of nice. That's an extra good storage. This one was pretty reasonable. I mean, pretty, pretty cheap. Hey, they put in a water pump for me. Uh, I think actually they went somewhere else and stole that and brought it here. And then maybe pay for it again. But I tell you what, this is kind of nice up here. Look at this. We can look down over the dealership. I missed it. I would have thought twice about buying this property if I would have known when I of the flight path. But yeah. Anyways, that's exciting stuff. That is exciting stuff. Our field here is ready to go. We got a little pond back here. And then we got another field over here. I I'm I don't think I'm gonna combine the two now. I was going to, but I think I'm gonna keep them separate um, right now. At the, for the for the moment. For the moment. Anyways, let's um, that's the yard. Yeah, yeah. Pretty snazzy. I kinda like it. They did they did a wonderful job here. Absolutely wonderful job. Like I said, little entrance back through here that takes us down to that field there. That's pretty snazzy. And then um, coming right up here by the Holy Buckets Farm sign. Yep. Awesome. Look, well, how can you go wrong? Anyways, okay. Let's um, let's see how this thing is going to work. The uh, big daddy backyard. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, let's see. I'm going to unload, or I mean, uh, open the cover there. Then we'll hop into the 45, 4850. And we'll see if this thing works. Oh, crap. What's it doing? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I think it was going... Holy buckets, it's full already. Uh, like I said, uh, it, I mean, realism out the window here. Uh, this thing holds 75,000 liters of uh, wood chips. So um, that, that didn't take very long. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we got 18,350 liters of wood chips in here. Uh, wow, that was fast. Um, I had no idea I did that, and then um, I just happened to be parking and looked down and said, 75,000 liters or what? And, uh, yeah, so that's from some of the uh, trees and the stumps and uh, some of the hedges that I cut down. Well, I did cut down, I, no, I, cut, I did cut down. I, I uh, wood chipped up four trees and some hedges here and there. I, I took out a little bit of hedge here for an entrance into the yard there, and then I did one out on the highway there, see right down there. Uh, to get into that field, I took that one out, and then all the stumps. So, I mean, who, who would have thought you'd have that much wood chips and stumps? But, uh, yeah, you do. Yep, you betcha. Uh, so we'll just drive down to the sawmill, and we'll check out the uh, what we can do for wood chips. I'm kind of curious now myself. Um, the Zeal 130 is just, is just, I mean, this is a beast. This thing is a beast, man. I tell you what, the chicks are going to go mad. They're going to... They're, they're gonna, they are gonna swarm the zeal. I can feel it. I can feel. It. I better. I better park it in the garage at night. I don't want that um, that go kart guy to come by and, and take my zeal. Certainly don't want that. The drive down here was uneventful. Yeah, nothing. Whoa, stay in the road. Nothing happened. Nope. Zeal 130 runs like a charm. Yep, you betcha. I, um, I don't, I have no idea what happened to that little hole in the fence. No idea. Um, anyways, we are here at the sawmill. This should be interesting. This should be interesting to see what we get. Um, oh, crap, I haven't even mentioned yet. Um, I went down to Super Speed Credit Union, and they said I have a credit limit of 500000 So, for the meantime, we maxed it out. So, that's why we have 385000 uh, minus... Um, the truck and wait a minute no the truck and the trailer 
the truck was 15,000. Um, did I ma did I Oh yeah, I did max it out at, at 500,000 uh, because we already had almost 100,000 for construction costs. So yeah, so we're at 385,000 now. Where did the wood chips go over here? Um, so yeah, so that's why we have 385,000 in the bank. We have a um, yeah, there you go, loan 500,000. Um, so that's what we can that's what we can get that's maxed out. Um, and I was going to use some of the other money for maybe some equipment and some um, land. So anyways, let's just uh, see if this unloads here. Oh, come on. Please unload. Uh, no. Uh, tip side back. Sure. Tip side back. Open cover. Well, that's the wrong one. Um... Why won't you unload? Why won't you unload? Okay, we'll try the trailer. Um, it'll sell off. It'll sell off the trailer. Why won't it sell off the truck? We'll have to figure this out here. That's, this is not good if this truck does not uh, tip. Crap. Fifteen hundred bucks. Fifteen hundred bucks. Um, I get nothing for the truck, man. Nothing for the truck. Um, why is that? This is gonna suck. I got a truck full of wood chips that I can't get rid of. Um, unless I'm... Wait, no. Maybe I'm tipped on the other side? Tip side left? We'll try that. Tip side left. You don't have access to this land. I still can't tip. Oh, crap. Well, it works. Just have to unhook the trailer. Uh, it works. It works. There it goes. Um, so we're selling some wood chips. We didn't make very much. Um, fifteen hundred for the fifteen hundred for the first load, and eh, twenty five hundred bucks for wood chips. Then again, we, we, it's not like we have a trailer load of seventy thousand liters of wood chips or anything. Um, if you know what I mean. Um, but that turned out okay. That turned out okay, so we still have, like, what, 50,000 liters of wood chips um, left in that wood chipper, for crying out loud. Um, hey, so a little bit of extra spending money, a little bit of extra spending money. But I'm going to speed it up, turn on the tunes, and we'll sell the rest of these wood chips. And then um, and then I think it's time to purchase some land is kind of what I'm going for, uh, land. We need, to, we need to get some land. And, uh, well, we maxed it out, so we can't get any more money. So we'll kind of have to be careful on what we buy because we still need to get a few um, equipment purchases too. So uh, we'll go from there in a second and uh, we'll see. As Nickers would say, it might be a little bit on the cheeky side. But I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Uh, I have <laughs> well, how many more loads did I have? Three. Uh, let's just drive the uh, 4850 down to the sawmill, and let's just see what happens with this um, big daddy backyard um, wood chipper thing in the jobby here. This thing is—I um, I, I gotta admit—it's it, 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 pre it's pretty damn cool. Uh, Brooks, let's say it's Brooks on the top there. Uh, Brooks, um, oh, stay on the road. Um, I can't see that. Brooks, Brooks wood chipper. Brooks, uh, big daddy backyard Brooks wood chipper with axes on it. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? Um, we're just going to try this. I'm assuming it might just, um, it might just unload right into there. But, uh, hey, anything that can save time and money, I am all for. I am all for it. Um, we'll finish this wood chip selling up, and then, um, 
we'll go take a look at land, and then I better get busy doing some um, field work here on uh, the Holy Buckets Farm. Um, I don't know. I'll have to talk to Adrian. I might have some more contract work to do, but hey, that's okay. And the good news is, like I said this earlier, the fields that uh, surround the uh, farm there that I'm interested in buying, I think one has oats. That's perfect for the horses. And then we have some corn and maybe a soybean and a wheat field. So all are really good crops. We don't have any root crops to, to deal with. Um, like I say, we could actually think about putting in a uh, silage bunker. That'd be kind of neat. Or we can check out the BGA. We could do that too and see if that works for the uh, corn. Um, we don't really have any uh, need for, we don't have any pigs, so we don't have to worry about corn for feed. Just have corn to sell, of course. But on top of that, you gotta have a silage harvester, so it all takes it all takes money, man. It all takes money. Yeah, I'm kinda curious to see if this is gonna work. I really, really, really am. Manure anyone? No. You know, I got I should try out these greenhouses too. I think that we can do something with these greenhouses. They look pretty nice with some funky looking tomatoes in there. Uh, I'm not a big tomato fan, but I could I could make tomato sauce. But um, yeah, we'll have to check out some of the greenhouses. That would be kind of interesting. I think I think we could look into that as well. I'm just assuming as soon as I pull up, this thing is just going to go shooting out. Is kind of what I am uh, what I'm thinking here. I think it will. Woodpecker. Okay. It's filling up the truck. I thought maybe it would just empty here. But it's a heck of a lot easier than driving back. Oh, it's stuck. Driving back and forth. Um, yeah, look at that. It's going to fill up. Hey, there we go. I tell you what, that's the way to sell wood chips, man. That is the way to, to sell wood chips. I love it. I love it. I stopped on the way back down the uh, down the road here in the 4850 down by the dealership and to look at these fields here and here's why um, right now we have got let's take a look whoops I keep pushing that wrong button right off the bat um, whoops there we go so 42 where we're standing the corner of that has got soybeans 41 has got oats 43 is canola 44 is corn and 47 is corn so that is not too shabby um so i think what we should do is we should start with what is the most important and i kind of i kind of have to think that this section here is more important than 47 even though i like 47 because you come off the backyard here you know uh, or 39 too um 39 is 127 47 is 178 44 is 36. Okay, let's just start here. We have um, 397,000. So I think we'll have to buy that one. And then this is 124. I think we'll buy that one. 42 and 41 is a combo deal. 73,000. And let's buy that one. So there is what we own. And um, we still have 162,000 left. 39 is 127. I think think we can get by if i bought that one too i think we can get by um well before i do that let's double check what is in 39 wheat so that's not bad get wheat for uh straw so we're kind of set up then pretty good for horses we have oats um wheat we have some grass here that we can work with and mow for some bales so i think that's a pretty good setup um we still have we have a cedar we have a plow we have we have I'll, we'll have enough money just to buy a, uh, an applicator so let's buy that as well there you go um looking back at that now so look at that that is a nice portion of land for the holy buckets farm you betcha um what does the other guy have yeah ours is nicer ours is nicer um 
So anyways, the reason I stop here is because of this wood chipper deal. Um, I think it would be cool to make a few entrances into the field off the highway so you don't have to um, go through the yard and come out. So here's how this funky, junky thing works here. Uh, oops, unfold. Unfold that bad boy. We'll turn it on. I did. Turn it on. We'll set her down. And let's just get rid of this little uh, post here. Let's see. There you go. Now we're cooking with sauce. Get rid of the stump. Perfect. There you go. So we have a little entrance into the field. Should we make one bigger? Is that is that a big enough entrance? Or should we do the next one over? I think we'll do the next one over too. We'll make it a little bit bigger. We can get some gravel put in here. So that'll be kind of nice. Oops. Hang on there. There. Oh. Boy, that went way bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's a big enough entrance into the hedge. That's pretty good. Um, so we got one there. Let's just keep going down the road. I wonder if we should have one up here on the corner, too, you think? Um, maybe by the driveway? I think that would be kind of nice. Because then you don't have to go up into the yard and then come through the yard down into the field. We can get there right off the highway. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, we could put one in. We could put a little one in right there. We could do that little next to the sign here. Let's do that, too. And like I say, this this um, <laughs> this wood chipper stores 75,000 liters of uh, wood chips for crying out loud, man. I could wood chip all day long. Um, and it works awesome. Yeah, I don't have to get a chainsaw out to do this. I uh, get a little stump there. Come on. Get the stump. You want to get the stump. You know you want to get the stump. Get the stump. There we go. Get the stump. No stumps. I love it. I absolutely love this thing. Um, too bad it couldn't blow snow, too. Yeah, that's, that's a nice entrance in there. Uh, we'll haul some gravel in there. And the other one I want to do is probably right in here. Um, right on the corner here. We can uh, put one in right here. There we go. Should we make that one bigger? No, I think that's plenty. Oh, the stump's still there? I think that's plenty big. I think that's good enough. That'll, that'll work like a charm. That will work like a charm. Turn that off. You can fold it up. Put the pipe in. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome piece of machinery there. So, yeah. So, there's some three entrances into these fields. Um, like I say, we'll get a uh, fertilizer spreader. And I think the best part is none of them need lime and none of them need plowing at the moment. So, we should get a pretty darn good um, yield. I think that's right. I, I double-checked that. Um, growth. Yeah, soil composition. So none of them need to be fertilized. None of them need to be limed. Um, I mean, it's, it's perfect. And yeah, we got all this field here, so we'll be ready to go. I think that is just absolutely awesome. Come up into the back side here. So come up into the farm this way. So I think for the rest of the uh, morning here until, until bacon sandwich time, I'm just going to get things put away, get things kind of shaped up in the yard here a little bit. Um, and we can uh, go from there. But anyways, yeah, that's the yard. We're, we're up and running. We'll get some horses in here when we can afford it. And got some nice storage here. I think we should be able to store everything that we have. Like I say, the only thing that we're missing is the um, Agrimaz cedar down at the dealership. I'll pick that up. And then some sort of a uh, sprayer. We, actually look, we can look at that now and get that over with. Um, crop protection. I think we're just going to go with the cheapest one. Ooh, geez. 30000 Oh, man. 38,000 for both of them. This one holds 1,300. This one holds 2,200. So 13 and 15. Yeah, so you get 2,800 liters there. Here you get 2,200 liters, but 5,000 more, you know, 38. Uh, 35,000, we can't, we can't afford that. Um, well, that sucks. Um, ah, maybe I can do some, some looking online. Maybe I can find something a little bit cheaper than that. But anyways, we'll leave it there for today. Hey, thanks for stopping by this uh, fun and outstanding Tuesday morning. Hope you had a great... Um, Hope you're, hope you're having a great morning. Hope you have a great day. Um, seriously, sincerely appreciate you stopping by and, uh, ta and taking a look at Mercury Farms. An awesome, awesome map by Alien Jim. Still very kind of over the moon by being able to be on here and, 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 uh, and playing it. It's awesome. But anyways, have a great day and keep in between the ditches. So long.